Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Floss, back again with another video. And today, we're going to take a look at the Honor Magic VS. Now, you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price hasn't been announced yet, so when they do, I'll update the link. But if you want one right now, you can find them on eBay for around 14 to 1500 bucks. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. Now, this one comes in two different colors. You got cyan and black. Now, on a side note, I believe they got the orange in China. Now, for the main display, you got a 7.9-inch OLED panel with a resolution of 1984 by 2272. Now, that's 382 for the PPI Patrol. You got HDR 10+, plus, up to 800 nits brightness, and a 90 hertz refresh rate. Now, for the outer display, that one is 6.45 inches. It's an OLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2560. Now, that's 431 for the PPI Patrol. You also got HDR 10+, plus, up to 1200 nits brightness, and a 120 hertz refresh rate. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, you got 8 or 12 gigs of RAM, 256 or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now, it's running Android 13 with Magic OS 7.1 skin on top. You got a 5,000 milliamp battery that features 66 watt fast charge. So that's gonna charge your phone from zero to 85% in 30 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 54 megapixel wide angle, 50 megapixel ultra wide, and an eight megapixel telephoto lens. Now you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now on the front, both cameras, okay, you got two front facing cameras, which are 16 megapixel wide angle lenses. And you can shoot video at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers with DTSX sound. You got Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, side mounted fingerprint sensor, face unlock, and my favorite feature, the IR blaster. All right, so all of that for roughly around 1400 bucks. Let's see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White shoes. shoes, calm down. Okay, gotta hit shoes with the reach around. <laughs> now, on a side note, like I said, I don't know the official prices yet, but hopefully it's not 1400 bucks, because if it is 1400 bucks, we're gonna have to talk about a few things. So let's unbox it. First, nice black box. Y'all know I like that, giggity. Okay, this is the uh, 12 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage version. Okay, so let's check the presentation. Inside, go beyond. Okay, little message, I like that. Already better than Samsung. This is gonna be your device. File that to the side. And let's check the goodies. Okay, so we got three boxes. First, ladies and gentlemen, the 66 watt fast charging brick in the box. Where it belongs, Samsung, Google, Apple, pay attention. This is what we want. This is what we paying for. Okay, so that's your charging brick. We're gonna leave this stuff nice and neat. Let's see what else you get. Okay, so this should be USB Type-C charging cable. Let's see anything else in here. Okay, a little filler. Okay, so this is gonna be USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. Okay, file that back very nicely. And of course, let's see what this is gonna be. Sim ejection tool. And this looks like a case. Let's see now. This might be just the back of the case. Let's see. Does it feels like that? Yes, just a nice vegan leather back of the case. Okay, I like that. Okay, so this is a pretty good presentation. And here's the uh, star of the show, Honor Magic VS. Check this out. Now this is the glass back version. Okay, now if you get the blue, that one's gonna have the frosted glass back. And again, the orange is gonna be vegan leather. There's your titanium alloy frame hinge. Okay, let me say that correctly. The titanium alloy hinge, which is rated at over 400,000 folds. Okay, let's get into the power button. See if we got any juice. Okay, heard a little vibration. This is gonna be, okay, there's your power. 
This is going to be your fingerprint sensor slash power button. You got volume up and down. On the top, there's one of your speaker grills. You got a mic. You got the IR Blaster Samsung. Okay? IR Blaster. On the bottom, there's your other speaker grill. Now, this phone does have dual SIM slots. Okay? So, there's your SIM tray. Another mic. USB Type-C charging slot. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's the last time I'm going to say slot. All right. Here's the back of the phone. Whew. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mmm! This phone smells like official tissue. Now, let me keep it real with y'all. I've been using this phone for over a week. It is a beast. Okay, this is what the Galaxy Z Fold 4 should have been. Okay, this build right here, this is what the Galaxy Z Fold should have been. And I'm going to go on record right now and say, if the Galaxy Z Fold 5 comes out and it doesn't have this kind of build, what I mean by that is a wider outer display, I'm not buying it. Okay, I'm not buying it. Now, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let me put my code in real quick. Blah, blah, blah. All right, shoes just... <laughs> shoes messed up my pin. Okay, there it is. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now, everybody knows, pound for pound, okay, feature v feature, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is pretty much the uh, all-around chip. You got wireless charge. You got water resistance. You got S Pen support. You got wireless decks. You got the animated always on displays, all the animated wallpapers, biometrics, everything is flawless on this phone. Pound for pound, I would say this is the best, but there's a problem with this phone that I just can't get past. All right, now, Samsung, you're gonna troll me with a bunch of notifications because they know I'm talking about them. Let me, um, let's get a mute y'all, okay? They know, they, they know I'm talking about, oh, matter of fact, that might've been this phone giving me the notifications. This is what I was about to say. <laughs> Let me try that again. The main downside to this phone right here is the outer display. For me, like I said, pound for pound, the best foldable phone on the market, but not my favorite. And it's not my favorite because I got big fingers, so this outer display is just too narrow. Once you use a phone like this, now, I don't even have to take it to the specs measurements. You got eyes, you can see for yourself. Look at the difference in the outer display. When I'm rocking my Galaxy Z Fold 4, as much as I want to use it like this, because when you're in an elevator or you're standing on line somewhere, you don't want to be having a big fold in your hand like this, you know, doing stuff. It's easier to drop. So a lot of times you want to use one hand action. This is the kind of phone that I can't type on. That is just too narrow. I cannot type. I can, but I got to think about it. Like when I pull up my keyboard, I don't want to have to be concentrating on, on the actual keys. I want to just let it flow. The outer display is just too narrow. When you get a phone like this, you're not going to have to open it up to fully enjoy it. Fold it up is the same as having a Galaxy or your favorite um, candy bar style phone. You don't have to unfold it. But when you do unfold it, now you get massive. Okay, so I like that. Again, pound for pound is the best, but it's not my favorite. Now, there's been a lot of talk about the gap. I really don't care too much about that little gap. But at the end of the day, why have a gap if you don't need a gap? This is a gapless phone right here, okay? Gapless fold. Now, I'm going to show you something else. This is one of my favorite foldable devices right here, the Xiaomi Mix Fold 2. This is another gapless fold. This is probably the lightest fold. And again, look at the difference from the outer displays. Okay, look at the, the Z Fold and look at the Xiaomi Fold. Look at the Xiaomi Fold. And look at the honor fold. This is what I like. Now, with the Xiaomi fold, this one is just even wider. All right, this, is, this is probably right up there with the Vivo as the widest outer display. Why is that important? Because half of the time you're using a fold, you're not going to be having it unfolded. You're going to be using it like this. So you want to have a regular phone feel whilst, okay, shout out to everybody in the UK, whilst it's folded up. Okay, so this is Xiaomi. Now, this is this is probably my personal favorite. Let me get him. Let's see, do I got any juice on this one? This one might be dead, but this is one of my favorite foldable devices. Oh, okay, matter of fact, I do have some juice on this. Let me get and open this up. Had it in pocket mode. Okay. Here's another comparison. Here's the Z Fold. Here's the Vivo Fold. Okay, let's check the gap status on this. This is another one, basically gapless, and I might see a little bit, but basically gapless. 
big giant outer display, but this one has wireless charge. Okay, so this is my favorite big fold because it has the features that I like. Great camera, wireless charge, big outer display, okay? IR blaster. But I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you one more thing. Now, this is um, this is a, one of my folds right here that low-key, I actually love this fold. This is the Oppo fold. And mark my words, okay? Now, you heard it from me. I guarantee y'all, I'm willing to place a bet. Hit me up in the comment section if y'all want a piece of this bet. When OnePlus comes out with their fold, it's basically going to be a rebranded version of the Oppo Find N2. Now, when I first got this phone, I immediately said I'm not going to like it because it's too small. But the thing is, a lot of y'all are going to love this fold right here because this is a this is a nice pocketable size foldable phone. You can easily rock this with one hand. The outer display is even wider than the Galaxy. Okay, and when you unfold it, it has a great aspect ratio. And this phone is super smooth. This phone is butter right here. And I love the frosted glass, but personally, Okay, it just personally, I just I can't use it. I tried to use it as much as I can, but it's just too small for me. It's just too small. Okay, so these are all of my foldable devices. At the end of this video, I'm going to rank these from one to five. Okay, but we already know pound for pound, the Galaxy has all of the features, but this one has arguably the worst design. All right, so let me pause the video. Uh, delete my browsing history. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll check out the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, as usual, there's gonna be some things that I don't like, so we gotta talk about those first. Now, there's basically 10 things that I don't like and a few of my petty gripes. All right, Shoes? <laughs> shoes are open my cash app. <laughs> shoes, trying to, shoes trying to cash app herself some money. All right, Shoes, calm down. There's 10 official things that I don't like and a few petty gripes. Let's start off with number one, the price. Now, this is a preemptive dislike because I'm not sure what the official price is going to be. But if they're selling them on eBay for around $1,400, $1,500, bucks, that kind of gives you a gauge of what it's, uh, what it's going to be. Hopefully, that's not the price. Hopefully, this phone runs a starting price at $1,200. Bucks. Okay, $1,200, bucks, maybe $1,300 bucks for the big boy, 512 gigs. I'll be fine with that. $1,400 bucks and above, that's TGH. And if you're new to my channel, that means too goddamn high. It's gonna be a hard sell. 1400 bucks for this, even though I do love the build quality and the big outer display, that's pretty much putting it with the same price as the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So, if you got 1400 bucks, which fold you're gonna get, even though you do want a big outer display, you also want wireless charge, you want water resistance, you want S Pen support, you want Samsung wireless decks. This phone right here is just, it's just a lot better Okay, pound for pound, so it shouldn't be the same price. This one right here starts around $1,400, $1,500, bucks, so this one got to be lower. So, Anna, if y'all watching this video and y'all really want to break the internet, start this phone at 1000 bucks. Okay, now look, 1000 bucks is not too much to pay for last year's processor because you got to remember, this is still a foldable device. This is high-tech technology. So if you want to break the internet, start it at 1000 and then maybe 1200 bucks for five, uh, 512 gigs of storage, I'd be fine with that. But just make sure the price is under 1400 bucks. Like I said, this is preemptive. <laughs> I'm doing a preemptive dislike. Next, color choices. Now, I'm not a big fan of companies coming out with phones with only two or three color choices. I don't like that. Okay, this, this way, if a lot of people do buy this phone, anytime you go somewhere, all of y'all got the same looking phone. Half of y'all got blue, half of y'all got black. And if you are roll with the Xi Jinping committee, then you might have the orange. But other than that, if you buy the global version, there's only two color choices. I don't like that. Okay, we need minimum four color choices at launch of a phone. Next, no official IP rating. Now, this is a foldable device, so you don't want to take any chances doing your own at-home um, water-resistant test. Don't do it. Okay, no official IP rating. I don't like that, especially at these kind of prices right here, and especially when you got foldable phones that have proved that you can make foldable devices water resistant. Now, if this phone wasn't out, I would say, okay, all of these other folds I got are not, are not water resistant, but this one is. So that means it can be done, it should be done. Next, no stylus support. Now, 
again, a lot of these other folds, they don't have that. That's why this is the still champ right here. But when you're using a phone like this, it would be nice to have a stylus, especially when you got the phone open. It's just easier and more fun to use. So they should have stylus support. Next, no expandable memory. Look, in this day and age, everybody's shooting 4K videos. Okay, everybody's downloading all of these apps. We need more storage that we don't want to pay for. I'm speaking on behalf as the customer. We want more storage and we don't want to pay for it. Uh, we want to just pop in our SD cards, our micro SD cards, right into that slot and get some more storage. Okay, so expandable memory. Next, no headphone jack. That shit's whack. Hashtag bars. I'm not even going to talk about uh, that too much, but my gripe is if you're not going to put the headphone jack on the phone, you got to put the dongle in the box. You got to do that. You know, you got to meet us halfway. Okay. You want to take away the headphone jack? Put the dongle in the box. You take away expandable storage, put a case in the box. Okay. I'm with that. You know, it got to be a give and take. All right. I'm talking directly to you, Samsung. It has to be a give and take. I right? stop taking stuff and not giving us anything in return. <laughs> I had to scold Samsung real quick. All right, so no headphone jack. That's his way. Next, check this out. On your main display, all right, on your main display, it's only 90 hertz refresh rate. This is why I say this is pound for pound the best. With the Galaxy on your inner display, your main display, 120 hertz. Now, look, 90 hertz, that's no slouch uh, spec material. But if other phones got 120 hertz, don't you want your phone to have the same? Okay, especially at these prices. Again, I don't know the official price, but I guarantee you it's not going to be 700 bucks. It's going to be 1000 and over for 1000 bucks. We need that buttery smooth scrolling speeds on all of the displays. Next, no flex mode on the camera. Now, when you get used to using foldable devices, you're going to be using what they call flex mode. That's when you got your phone flex like this. Now, you do have flex mode. Let me show you real quick. Say you go to YouTube. I'm gonna just give you an idea of what flex mode is. Let's go to, let's pull up a video. Okay, uh, it's almost connected to my TV. All right, now this is how you're watching your video, right? Now we put it in flex mode. Matter of fact, we're gonna open it like this. You gotta go full screen. Then we put it in flex mode. So you see when it's in flex mode? Now if I take it to the comments, I'm in the comment section while the video's going. So it almost gives you a laptop experience. Okay, let me pause that for a minute. It's gonna give you a laptop experience. That's flex mode. Galaxy has it, a lot of other phones have it. But here's my gripe. When you go to camera, okay, when you put it in flex mode, nothing happens. All right, nothing happens. You should have a flex mode on your camera. And if you don't know how that looks, let's pull up the Galaxy and we'll go to camera. All right, now y'all don't want to see me. I'm back here looking greasy. Okay, <laughs> here's flex mode on the camera. So now if I got the camera like this, you see the difference? Let's open up a photo. So you see the difference? All right, hold up. I got the camera like this. If you're in flex mode, now with the Galaxy, all right, I'm on the table. Bang, I'm taking photos just like this. This one, the button is kind of in the middle now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like... You need to have flex mode. Right? You, you, you bought a foldable device. You want to take advantage of foldable software. All right, so Honor. Now, this could be a software upgrade, okay? This is another preemptive dislike. So Honor, if y'all see this video, upgrade the software where we got flex mode in the camera. Next. Let's see. Oh, okay, now I got a few more gripes. Let me think. What, did I, what was I about to say? Okay, here's my, here's my next gripe. No wireless charge. Now, let me show you something. Here's a fold with no wireless charge. Here's another one with no wireless charge. To me, that ruins the phone. I don't care how fast the wired charge is. If it's not 200, <laughs> 200 watts and better, like that Realme phone, if it's not charging from zero to 100% in 11 minutes, then let me get that wireless charge. This is one of the reasons why this is my favorite fold kind of right now, because I get that same big experience but this one has wireless charge. I got too many wireless charges. I spent too much cash on wireless charges to be having them all laced out around my house and not be able to take advantage of them. Okay, so we would like to see wireless charge. Next, now I'm, I know I'm, I just thought of a few more while I'm talking. 
No 4K video on your front-facing camera. Not the biggest deal in the world because you can use the back camera as a front-facing camera, which I'm going to show you when we do the photos, when we do the photos, but that's something that should be on every phone, every flagship phone these days. 4K video on all of your cameras. Now, of course, they call me Petty Roosevelt, so I got to talk about a few petty things. Here's one of them. No app drawer. Okay, no app drawer. I don't like that. This way, when you got all your apps, and if you like me and you got a thousand apps, you're going to be having mad pages of apps. Okay, now usually I like to have my phone like this. So usually it'd be swipe over, Google homepage, then it'd be this page with my mostly used apps, then of course my work apps, then I got the calendar, okay, got my music, got my notes, then after that we got Google Translate, another calendar with events on it, and then all of my apps. But I would usually just let it end right there. Now we got all of these pages of apps. I don't like that. Now it's not the biggest deal in the world because if you want to search for an app, let's do Snapchat. You just search it like that. And then if you hit this, it'll show you where the location is at. So not the biggest deal in the world. It's kind of petty, but I don't like that. I mean, that's just kind of weird. No app drawer. Now I'm pretty sure you can download other launchers, but these ain't uh, app reviews. I'm not talking about Nova Launcher and Net Launcher and all of that. Stock. Some people like to use their phone completely stock. That should be a stock feature. Next, now here's another one that I don't like. You can use your rear camera. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. You can use your rear camera as a front camera. But when you do that, if you notice, there's no selfie button. There's no button to control it. So say I want to do that, I'm going to have to set up a timer and then keep turning around and use the timer. Okay, I don't like that. It should have had a nice button on the outside so you could just press and take your selfies. Okay, so no button. Now, I do have one more last petty gripe, and that has to do with the battery. Now, this has a 5,000 milliamp battery, but it still doesn't feel like it's that great. The battery is good. Don't get me wrong. The battery is not trash. It's not the greatest. It's right in the middle. Okay, so it's not trash, not great, right in the, right in the middle. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Right in the middle. And part of that reason, I think, is because of the Snapdragon 8 Plus chipset. Now, if this phone would have had the Snapdragon 8 Generation 2, we all know how that that, uh, that chipset uses the phone's algorithm to give you a better battery performance experience, then I wouldn't have this issue. But even at 5,000 milliamps, I'm getting the same exact battery life that I'm getting with my Galaxy, that I'm getting with the Vivo, that I'm getting with all these other phones. And it shouldn't be like that, especially if you don't have 120 hertz refresh rate on your main display. What's eating up all that battery? Now, again, battery life is subjective. You know I gotta be on douchebag status, so I got maximum brightness, maximum refresh rate, maximum everything. But I would like to see, on the next version, use the latest chipset so we get the best battery performance. With that being said, this is easily one of my favorite folds though because of this big giant outer display, the build quality, the speakers, the processor, everything is a go. So let's break it down. First, this is a global ROM. So when you swipe over, you're gonna get your Google homepage, and this is Honor Phones, okay? Subdivision of Huawei, if you wanna call it like that. Maybe some people think it's a subdivision of Huawei. Some people think it's Huawei's cousin Sid. Doesn't matter, okay? Google Apps. Google Apps on this phone, and I use it on AT&T in the USA, works flawlessly, 5G, 5G speeds, no issues at all. So if you're buying this phone and you live in the USA, you're gonna have your Google Apps already installed, you don't have to get them third party, they came just like this. When I had that phone, it was sealed up, opened it up, Google Apps on deck. Next, let's go through the basic toggles, and I, ain't really, I don't really wanna spend too much time on this, but um, you go all, all your basic toggles, you got screen record, screenshot, link to Windows, NFC, Open this up. Everything just translates right over. I'm gonna do, let's do it on the big screen. <laughs> big screen on the big screen. You got Honor Connect. Okay, so you can connect this to your PC. Let's go over the settings. Let's run through this real quick. Okay, so there's your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile networks. You got uh, personal hotspots. Honor Connect. Okay. Now you got NFC. You got Honor Share. Kind of like AirDrop, easy projection, link to Windows, printing, Android Auto, VPNs, and your private DNS for your scumbag activities. Let me get a little wipe down on this. My OCD is kicking in. Okay. Speaking of that, OCD, I just noticed the crease. We'll talk about the crease in a minute. Matter of fact, let's talk about it right now. Let's go to something that's, let's see if we can find something that's kind of bright. Let's see, uh, what do I have that's bright? Let's see, let's, uh, let's go to the Play Store. 
Let's see. Maybe we click on something. Or maybe maybe we just turn off dark mode. You know, that that might be um, the smart way to do it. All right, so let's go back to settings. We'll, we'll reach that when we go to display. All right, so there's your more connections. Home screen and wallpaper. Okay, so you got a bunch of different themes. A bunch of different always on displays to choose from. Okay, you got all of the graffitis. The artistic, which was my favorite one on the magic. On the honor magic. The other magic that I did the other day. We got analog, digital, and you could download more. Okay, so let me show you how that always on display looks. Let me wipe it down one more time. Oh, now these biometrics are crazy. It just keeps, won't even let me look at it. Okay, look. Here's your always on display. Time, date, battery percentage, all your notifications popping up. Beautiful. Now, I wish the notifications would have came in in color, like how they do on uh, the Oppo phones, but it is what it is. Okay, open this back up. You see, whatever's on your outer display, when you open up the phone, you continue off where you, where you was at. Now, you can change that if you want. All right, so now you can change your icons, okay? Home screen settings. Now, this is where the app drawer setting should be, but there's no app drawer. <laughs> I don't know. It is what it is. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's, let's, turn, let's, let's put it on light mode. Okay, look. Now, you can see the crease. Not too big. Giggity. Basically on par with Samsung on par with Xiaomi. I would say Oppo has the best creaseless design. Matter of fact, let's see, let's just show and prove. Look at this now with the Oppo. Let's see, how do we do that? Um, <laughs> Let's go to the settings. Let's go to display. All right, shoes, can you get your shoes? Okay, let's put it on light mode. Look at the difference with the Oppo. Now, under this camera, it might seem like you could still see it, but I would say the Oppo definitely has the most creaseless look to it. But even with this phone, even with the Galaxy, even if, even if right now you seem like you see the crease, when you're holding a phone like this, your eyes adjust to it so fast, it disappears. Okay, so I would not say don't buy a foldable device because you're going to be looking at the crease. You're never going to see it. Trust me. Okay, so let's go back to uh, dark mode. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I come for the e-book mode, font six. Okay, color mode and temperature. Got normal and vivid. If you want to, have it nice and cold. Keep it moving. Okay, screen refresh rate. Now you got dynamic. Okay, you got high, medium, or standard. I just keep going like this. Y'all can't see it, but shoes tail it keeps moving back and forth. All right, so that's your refresh rate. Let's go to sound and vibration. Okay. Let's get maximum vault. The speakers actually sound good. Okay, so you got your, let's see, you got your sound quality effects when you connect your headphones. Okay, there's all your different sounds. Okay, notification tones, nothing to really see there. Notifications, okay, turn those on and off. Biometrics and security, you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and you got secure lock settings and smart lock. All your apps, battery, okay. Now, if you want to, you got performance mode. Turned off. And why, how am I running around without performance mode on? Again, this is why you drain your battery. Certain. This is why certain people have more battery drained than others. Because if you like me and you're using performance mode, maximum brightness, maximum screen refresh rate, it's going to drain your battery. But if you want to put it on power saving mode, you'll easily get the full day. Okay, battery percentage. Let's show outside. Why not? Okay. Screen on time today. You see, hour and 51 minutes already. You see, it's been on for an hour and 51 minutes. I got 90% left. I already came back from the gym, did a whole bunch of stuff. Storage, okay, maximum storage on this one. Safety and emergency, security, okay, so you got Password Vault, you got App Safe, I mean App Lock and Safe. You can block fake mobile towers, okay, so you don't get shimmied out there. Let's see, you got Privacy, full suite, location, and all your location services, digital well being, I right, matter to your scumbag activities. You got your assistant, yo yo. You got your yo-yo assistant. Foldable phones. Okay, now here's some uh, a feature that you might want to play with. You got um keep the keep the uh, let me say it again. Keep the exterior screen on. This way, when you close and open your phone, it takes you right to where you left off. App scaling. Now this is important, and I'm going to show you why when we take it over to Instagram. Matter of fact, since we're talking about it, let's do it right now. Okay, so Instagram, I got on full screen, but if you want to, you can have four by three or sixteen by nine. Here's why that's important. Let's go to Instagram. Now, if you leave your Instagram on full screen and you get to the top of a post, 
the aspect ratio is not correct, so you can't see the whole post all at once. So if you put the right, right to the bottom of the post, you can't see the top. If you put right to the top, you can't see the bottom. So you're going to be doing a lot of scrolling. All right, so if you're trying to check out some buns, you got to leave it right in the middle. You're good to go. Now, certain pages, like this one, you can see the whole one. Okay, like this right here. Now, if you try, you know, say you're trying to be on some thirst shit, you can't see the whole, you can't get your full thirst. All right, you, you can see the bottom, but you might want to see the face and the bottom at the same time. Now, of course, you can zoom in if you want, but let me show you what you got to do. So now, we'll change the aspect ratio to four by three. All right, so it's going to automatically close the app. We'll open up the Instagram. Now look at this. Now you got a different aspect ratio. But even like this, certain pages, you won't see the whole picture. Like this one, okay, this one you can basically see the whole picture. <laughs> All right, chat. You can basically see the whole picture. Let's see. it. Okay, yeah, this aspect ratio is actually good. Let's try one more. Let's go to Instagram. Let's try 16 by 9. Now, this is going to give you the full, <laughs> if I was about to say it, this is going to give you the full Instagram experience where you see the name and the whole post. All right, so if stuff like that is, <laughs> if stuff like that is important to you, it is what it is. Now, me, I like to see everything in full glory, so I'm going to leave mine on full screen. So this way, you know what I'm saying, when, I, when, I'm, when I'm scrolling, I like to see it like this. Okay, Kareem. Kareem sold his championship ring. All right, we got to. All right, we, 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 we got to save that for the RDA test. All right, so anyway. All right, so you got some different foldable. You can change your aspect ratio, a full screen display for the inner and outer display. All right, now for the exterior display, there's only certain apps that work with that. Accessibility, if you're hearing a visually impaired, everything is on deck. User accounts, Google, system updates, and about phone. Okay. Android 13, Honor Magic 7.1, 12 gigs of RAM, 512, basically everything that I said earlier. So that's pretty much it for that. Now, let's talk about the actual build quality. I love it. No water resistance, so like I said, you gotta be careful. But this big giant outer display, okay? This phone feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. It's not as light. I would say right now, the mix fold is the lightest fold out. Okay, then I, the, look, if I was building my Fold, it would be a Frankenstein device. It would be all of the features from the Galaxy, the no crease from the Oppo. Let me get the wireless charge from the Vivo. Let me get this thin light build quality from the Xiaomi. And let me get the IR blaster and the titanium hinge, okay? And this overall smoothness from the Honor Magic VS. Okay, that would be my fold. Anyway, I said that to say this. <laughs> Fingerprint sensor on the side, always on display. The biometrics. Biometrics on this device work flawlessly. Now, I, 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 I like having the fingerprint sensor on the front, okay? The Vivo is the only fold that I have that has the fingerprint sensor on the front. This is actually unique because this one has the fingerprint sensor on the front of both. All right, so you got a fingerprint sensor on the inner display and this display. With the Xiaomi, this one doesn't have a camera on your inner display. Okay, now, the reason I keep bringing up these all of these other phones is, this is not just a review of this phone. I basically want to help you in your decision of buying a foldable device. So I'm trying to show y'all everything that's on the market. Back to the biometrics. First, let's just take a look at the face unlock. Bong, look how fast that is. Bong, let's do three in a row. Bong. Okay, fingerprint sensor. One. Two, three. Fingerprint says, I'm starting to love it on the side. That's what I'm, That's why I pulled out the Vivo. I was about to say, a lot of phones with it on the front, I'm starting to love it on the side because the side, mount, side mounted ones, that was almost a little drop test, the side mounted ones are just more reliable. Just a lot more reliable. Only thing I don't like about having them on the side is when you got your phone on the table like this, it's going to force you to set up one of these fingerprints. Now, I like to set up my thumb five different angles, and usually I just like go like this when it's on the table, but you're going to have to set it up with the side. Okay? So the biometrics work amazing. This glass back, <laughs> I got to get my microfiber cleaning cloth. One of the downsides to having the standard glass backs like this is if you got OCD or you just hate having the smudges, you're gonna have to keep wiping it down. It's gonna get greasy on the back real quick. I like the vegan leather. 
like these two, vegan leather, that's a way to go. Or you can go like Samsung and Oppo with the frosted glass. Okay, frosted glass, if you notice, look at these phones. Now, you have to look hard to see a smudge, but just like this, they both look nice and clean. Glass packs like this, they're going to get smudged up, and you're going to be wiping them down. Now, as far as, again, with the build quality, no gap. Okay, when you unfold it, it's a nice, satisfying click. When you close it, same thing. No struggles. You don't have to be trying to peel it open. Once you get the hang of it, you're going to be opening and closing it real easy. Okay, now you do have a camera on the inside. So let's try that. So now if you want to, if you leave your phone unfolded, you still got always on display. You still got your motion sensors. Let me let that always on display kick in. Bond, there it is. But when I pick up the phone and look at it, the face unlock from this camera works just as good as the face unlock on this camera. Both of the cameras are the same. Okay, that's that. Now, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Opening web page. Okay. Shout out to the uh, yellow iPhone who ordered one of these, Big Bird. I had to order one, why not? Because, you know, I got a, I got a few jokes. <laughs> we're going to uh, we're gonna have to talk about this. The Big Bird right here. But here's your full web browsing experience. Beautiful. Okay, 90 hertz refresh rate. I mean, look, once you go to 120, you're not going to want to go backwards, but it's not like, oh, this feels slow. Like, it's not like, oh, I miss 120. No, you know, if I didn't say nothing, you probably wouldn't even notice. And you're not going to notice on this camera anyway, but once you get used to using 120, you, you, you know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's try a little floating window. Okay. Next. Next, next, next. Got it. Okay, got a little floating windows on deck. Okay, now if we want to, let's uh, go ahead and open that up full screen. Oh, first we'll minimize it. <laughs> okay, then we'll, okay, come on, bro. Let's go to Google. Let's go to full screen. Okay, I got to play with the floating windows. Okay, oh, swipe like that. Okay, so let's try that again. Okay, now... You can minimize it, make it disappear. Let's try Facebook. We'll, we'll learn this together, why not? Okay, so there's your floating window. Now, if I wanna go full screen, pull it from the bottom. Okay, there it is. Now, let's see, let's try something else. Let's do, okay, that button right there puts it in a bubble. Let's see what this does. Okay, split screen multitasking. Now, let's do, um, let's do YouTube on one side. Okay, so we got YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Okay, oh, now this app doesn't support horizontal switch. Let's see, let's try something else. Let's do, let's do split. Let's see, um, okay, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, okay. <laughs> let's see, um, maybe, let's see if Google supports horizontal. Nope, okay, we got to figure out which, we got to play around with it. Maybe Chrome. Let's see. Let's see. Um, figure this out. I like to. I like to do this kind of stuff live, though. You know. So this way, when you get home, and you're having your struggles. You can feel my pain. Let's see what would have. Let's see Chrome. Now let's see if Chrome. Okay, a lot of a lot of apps don't support the horizontal split, which is kind of weird. But we'll figure out which ones do. But you can have two apps open at the same time, and you can also have one as a floating window. Okay, so let's see. Open those back up and floating window that we can actually move. All right, so we got three apps open at the same time. All right, so the multitasking on this is pretty beastly. Look at that. All three move all three moving at the same time. That's how you know it's multitasking. Real dope. All right, so now let's test the dual stereo speakers with the DTSX sound. I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy Mark Rubier. Here we go. Now this is maximum volume. Does it sound loud? How's the bass man? How's the 
Now notice, if you want the speakers to sound louder, turn the phone like this and it'll bring them to the top. Let's cover up one side. Sound louder this. Okay, so now you got the speakers at the top. This way, if you're holding your phone like this, you're not covering up the speakers. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rabier. Speakers sound pretty good, no complaints at all. All right, so now let's take a look at this big, beautiful display. Here we go. Now, if you want to, zoom in more, zoom in even more. Full screen. Pretty much bezel-less. You can go as wide as you want. Excellent viewing angles. Okay, that's the original. Full quality. But if you're watching your scumbag videos, you're gonna have to zoom in a little bit. Go crazy. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's do a little bit of gaming. Now, the side note, when you open up your game, if you swipe over, you do have your game manager. So you got your game booster, do not disturb. You got your filter, screenshot, screen record, and different settings. All right, so here we go. Asphalt 9, let's get busy. Okay, everybody rapping already? Oh, okay. Who that dude in the green? Let's go. Oh, get out. Ah, let's go. I'm a menace out here. I need that ramp, though. I need that ramp. I need to get this dude right here. I never lost this round. I never lost, never lost on this stage. I can't I can't make it a first. Oh, he tried. Yeah, he, he tried. Listen, this is, if I get crazy, am I going to lose? All right, let's go. No lag at all. Okay, so let me go ahead and um, speak it sound loud. <laughs> Gaming on your Honor Magic VS, no issues at all. All right, so now let's talk about the camera. Now, most people are gonna take photos like this, but if you wanna go big boy, you can open it up just like this. All right, so let's do it the uh, normal people style. Let's go through the different shooting modes. Now you got aperture. Okay, you can change your aperture. You got night shots. And from night mode, you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. You got portrait mode, okay? Wide angle or a little bit of zoom, and you can change your bokeh effects. Now, from your photos, you got wide angle all the way up to 30 times zoom. And the 30 times zoom is pretty scummy, so we're going to call it a scumbag zoom, and I'm going to show you why. Now, you do got artificial intelligence to help you with your photos. Now, from videos, you got wide angle all the way up to 10 times zoom. And the resolution, max 4K. Max resolution, 60 frames per second. Okay, exit out of that. Now, you got movie mode. You got pro mode. Change your white balance, your shutter speed, autofocus, go crazy. And, of course, you got more. So, you got slow motion, panorama, time lapse, stickers. You got documents, super macro. Okay, get those extreme close-ups. You got dual view, front and back at the same time. You got high resolution and story. And again, when you're in regular photos or video, if you're using a phone like this, you can enjoy this feature right here. Turn it on, and you got the back. Okay, so this way, when you're taking a selfie of somebody, or actually a picture of somebody, they can see exactly how they're going to look in that photo. And also, when you're taking selfies of yourself, <laughs> okay, you're taking a selfie of yourself, use this camera in the back and get better resolution. Now, y'all see me back here with my glasses on looking extra nerdy, but you get a better camera experience. But I love having this window on the back, so this way when you tell somebody, all right, let me take your photo, you don't have to take a 1,001 photos. They know exactly what they're going to look like. 
So take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. But before we do that, I want to show you one thing. Let me show you the uh, scumbag zoom. Okay, let me pull up my usual scumbag zoom test. All right, so here's how I test the zoom. So now I'm all the way down the block. I took this photo and I'm going to upload these. I took this photo. Okay, this is wide angle. Then I zoomed in a little bit more. I'm trying to see that sign from all the way down the block. And bond, there it is. Now it's not, you know, crystal clear and all that, but I could make it out. I could make it out. But you see in the uh, last one I did with the 100 times zoom, you see the difference. Okay, you see the difference with the, I said the last one I did. Matter of fact, I'll show it to you right now. Because a lot of times I hate talking about stuff and not showing it. So let's see. Oh, I, uh, of course, I deleted all of my galaxy photos. But look at that super moon. But 100 times zoom, this picture would be crystal clear. But it's good enough. All right, that's 30 times zoom. It's good enough. Now, take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself. So now let's talk about one of my favorite features, the IR Blaster. Now the easy way to check to find out if your phone has an IR Blaster, if you're not sure, download Mi Remote. 
And if it opens up and lets you set up a remote, guess what? You got an IR blaster. If it says phone not compatible, you don't have an IR blaster. That's how I found out the Vivo phone had one. Now, you see, I got mine set to my Sony TV, but it's bigger than TVs. You can use this for TVs, DVD players, projectors, air conditioners, heaters, anything that has the infrared sensors, you can pair it up to your phone and use the phone as a remote. Now, let me show you how I use it up in my office with this stock IR blaster footage. All right, so I'm sitting up in the office. I just finished working. Now I want to turn off all of my TVs using one phone. Okay, so let's start off with the Samsung TVs. Just like that. Another one. Just like that. Now we'll switch over to LG TV. Press the button. Just like that. And now let's switch over to Sony TV. Press the button. Just like that. The IR blaster is so clutch for me. This is a major go. Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you just spent over a thousand bucks on a foldable device. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now this phone doesn't have wireless charge, so you're gonna have to use a wired connection. Let's see the charging animation. Now this is one of the things that I like to look for. Fancy charging animations. Okay, this one looks beautiful. Look at the little bubbles coming up. I like that. Now, look at Samsung. Samsung has the wackest charging animation. Look at this one. Look at that. Now, they did update it a little bit, but that's kind of trash. Let's see some of the other ones. Look at Vivo. You can see the actual energy molecules being transferred in. I like that. Let's check out Xiaomi. Okay. Xiaomi has the big, beautiful, who looks like some kind of neon Tron type shit. I like that. Let's see Oppo. Okay. Movement. You know, you see the bubbles. I like that. Okay, so the Honor phones have a dope charging animation. Little things like this are important to me. Because this is how it's going to look on the table. You want to see that fancy animation. Samsung, step your game up. Now, the first thing you do when you wake up, look at your phone. All right, so I don't even have to touch anything. I just look at it. I look at it, I can see the time, I can see the date, I can see my battery percentage, and I see I got a bunch of notifications. Now, without even touching any biometrics, I'm just gonna look at it, boom, just like that. Opens up. First thing I do, take it over to Google. Let's see what's popping out. Okay, so we got uh, high comfort, high performance, the best headphones for running. Okay, now check this out, the Nubia Z50. Okay, 120 hertz flat display with no holes, no notches. Okay, I like that. Uh, for, uh, uh, Xiaomi 13 camera test. I already did that. Okay. Case to five. One of my favorite brands with the cases. One plus 11 concept. Who's seen the one plus 11 concept phone? They should have dropped that instead of the one plus 11. Even if they, they, they should have just scrapped the whole one plus 11 because that phone is pretty much DOA. And they should have bought this phone out because those lights in the back, this would have been a heavy hitter right here. Okay, um, the Oscars on Sunday. <laughs> My man, uh, Slapsy Priest, not Maxi Priest, Slapsy Priest. I hate to say Chris Rock out here getting slapped up. Who's seen the Chris Rock comedy special? I thought it was funny. Maybe I'm in the minority. I thought it was funny, but he could have went a little bit harder on Will after. Come on, if you get slapped like this, and, you, and that was your, your response, I don't know. Anyway, okay, so this is how your Google feed is going to look. Again, Google on an honor device. I know, I know, I know Xiaomi, I mean, I know um, Huawei is at home right now, punching in the air. Don't worry, Huawei, so, so you, you'll be back soon. Once once we get Huawei back in the USA, I'll start reviewing the Huawei phones, because y'all know, Huawei was one of my favorite brands. But it doesn't make any sense for me buying a Huawei phone without Google Apps. I don't like that. Okay, I don't like that. Now, there's some ways you can sideload them and all that, but ain't nobody got time for that. You just, you spend a thousand bucks, you want P&P, plug and play. All right, so let's, that's how your Google feed is going to look. And at any moment, I could just unfold, bang. Now I got the Google feed on the bigger display. So let's exit out with some new transformer shit. Okay, cool. So let's do a little work. Now for the work, I like to have my phone unfolded. So let's take it over to, um, 
Okay, a little Gmail. Now this is how I'm gonna do my uh, core wear. Well, why you gotta blow me up with the core wear? You know, this, this is fat people clothes right here. Fat people buy some core wear. You know, holding all of your fat molecules. You know what I'm saying? I went to the gym this morning. Don't get me wrong. I went to the gym this morning, but I'm still buying some core wear. Oh, let, me, let me reply to them, yo. Um, I'll take a dozen. <laughs> take a dozen. <laughs> and I'm a fat guy. That's what fat people do. All right, so that's how I'm... A, but this, this would symbolize me doing my work emails. All right, so let's exit out of that. Bong. Next, now, we're going to have a little uh, social media fun. So let's take it over to Twitter. Okay, now if I'm just chilling at my desk and I'm on Twitter, okay, so guess what? Something happened. I gotta run downstairs. I gotta run downstairs. Hold on, come on, come on, Twitter. I gotta run downstairs. What I would usually do is take my phone, close it up like this, and now I'm on the move. So now as I'm waiting for the elevator, I can still be on my Twitter. So here's my Twitter's gonna look. Let's take it over to the mentions. See what's going down. Okay, this is why I like these big auto displays. Okay, you you can actually use the phone the way it's intended as a regular phone. Okay, somebody got the Galactus 2.0. Okay, interesting design. What is this? Now, there's another fold right now. Everybody been telling me to check out this one right here. This is that Phantom X2 Pro. Is that it? Phantom X2 Pro. This actually looked kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm getting one of those. Oh, this is the one with that big giant camera on the back. Now, this camera, there's a Hasselblad joints. Okay. All right, this that the camera better be something. Anyway, so here's how your Twitter's gonna look. Let's see. The, yeah, somebody said that's a huge camera. That's the Donald Trump huge camera. That's a nice orange. Okay. Anyway, so here's how your tweet's gonna look. Let's see. I have a video. Um, somebody have a video request for a speaking case. I already did the speaking case video for Galactus 2.0. All right. Watch my shit. Watch my shit. All right. Let's see. Um, all right. So that's your Twitter. And then, now, now that I'm back at my desk, just came out the elevator. Open it back up, and now I get Twitter in full glory. Okay, we want to do a little multitasking. Let's go ahead and bong minimize this. Matter of fact, bong just like that into a ball. Now, on the side note, off camera, I was trying a whole bunch of apps. I really couldn't find anything that works in a horizontal mode, but maybe that's uh, going to be post-update. So let's take it over to Facebook. Okay, Facebook. Who is Monica? Your own girl, Monica. You know, we used to work at the same job back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Alicia, there's another one of my home girls, you know, from back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Um, okay. Shaq and Jordan. Who, who's, who's seen this dude right here? <laughs> Funniest airplane brief. Okay, my home girl, Nike out here. You know what I'm saying? Who this? Um, Amanda out here shedding. All right, shedding them weights. I like that. Okay, anyway, so here's how your Facebook is going to look. And at any moment, I can take it back to Twitter. I can be on Twitter, or I can just open them up like this. Now, you see, none of these apps are working in the um, horizontal version, but if I want to, I can be on both of these at the same time. All right. I, all right, Apple, this is how multitasking looks. One going up and one going down. And the guy in the middle is like, hey, what do you want from me? <laughs> That, that look, that's from Goodfellas. Y'all remember Goodfellas when they sat down at the table and he was showing that painting? I was, I've was i been watching that movie the last couple of days. He said, look, you know, there's one dog's going this way, one dog's looking that way. The guy in the middle's like, hey, what do you want from me? <laughs> I love that scene. Anyway, so let's exit out of that. All right, so that's your little Facebook. I don't want to get too deep into Facebook. Let's take it over to TikTok. See what's going down on TikTok. Okay. We got John. Hold on, let me turn this up. Josh the, Josh the only NBA player that, that made it out the hood to become a multi-millionaire who's trying his hardest to make it into the hood. Like, bro, he need Look, now I know I'm speaking off topic right here. Everybody's grown and do what you want. But what kind of friends does he have, man? Like, if, if this was my nephew, I'd pull him to the side, put him in a little chokehold. Like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? All right, so we got... um. Okay, we got Tank versus uh, Ryan Garcia. It was getting a little spicy at the weigh-in, a little spice. I'm taking all side bets right now. I'm putting my money on Tank. Okay, I'm putting my money on Tank. Even though Ryan Garcia, you know, he got the quick hands, but we're talking about power versus speed, man. It's power, power versus speed. I put my money on power, yo, you know what I'm saying? But you never know, because, you know, these lightweight dudes, man, you know, of course the fight's going to be 12 rounds. You don't see too many knockouts. All right, let's see. Let's see what my girl out here doing. Let's see. She out here making the TikToks. Okay, look, she got the, she got the, look, look at, look at, look, look, look at it. That light is kind of sick, though. I'm, I'm hating a little bit on the low. Kind of hating. 
That little vanity is kind of sick, though. I went with RGB lights, you know? I was like, RGB lights everywhere. I like that. I like that. Oh, this dude walking around with the fake dog. You know, I don't I don't know how scripted these are or not because fat people don't really be just dropping food for no reason. I you know what I'm saying? That that's how I think these are this is fake right here. Cause I know even if me when I get scared, if I'm eating some food, my natural fat reflex makes me clench the food even more. Like if I'm walking holding a fucking hamburger, somebody be like, yo, I turn around, I clench that shit even tighter, yo. So just to drop a plate like that, I'm not really buying that. I'm not really buying that. But um, y'all fat people, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I <laughs> got any fat fucks watching my shit. Let's see, Charleston White. I I don't I, this this dude right here, man. I mean, it was it was funny at first, but he's he's, he's kind of getting it kind of annoying right now. He he be saying too much off the wall type type of stuff, yo. Okay, now what's she about to make? Let's see, <laughs> Mad Modelos. I right. a lot of Mexicans be drinking Modelos, yo. I gotta taste it one day, yo. Yeah? Oh, she making a Modelo steak. All right, head for the border. Let's see, uh, we got Snoop. All right, so here's how your um, TikTok is gonna look. Okay, now let's see something. Let's go over to settings. Let's go to um, foldable devices. Okay, let's go to app scaling. Let's see what's available in the TikTok segment. Okay, look how many apps I got up in this piece here. All right, let's see, TikTok. Okay, let's try TikTok on full screen. Let's see if that, Okay, we yeah, basically the same. It's a good thing about TikTok. Now you're gonna do my man tracks. <laughs> yo, yo, why are you vacuuming her wig off? Well, why you had to do it like that? It's kind of dirty. Okay, anyway, so here's TikTok. Exit out of it. All right, so now let's uh, take it over to Instagram. Let me clear my throat. <clears> throat. Let me clear my throat because you know what I'm getting ready to say. Okay, now this is um, what is that? Uh, that oyster. Uh, oyster, what is that? Uh, there's some kind of um, shellfish. It might be an oyster. It might just be a big ass oyster. I don't know. Okay, shout out to Carved. I'm doing the Carved cases in a minute. Okay, let's see. Soundcore, what they got? Liberty Pro Three. I right, kind of get a couple of dollars off that. I, I respect them. I respect them. All right, Sammy. Now you see like certain pages. You get the whole picture. It all depends on the person that's posting. I'm copping these immediately. All right, shoe lover. This is one of my plugs right here. Where I get the where I get the reps, the reppies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? First of all, if you still buying Jordans for over 150 bucks, you're a fucking idiot. When you got reps like this on the market, the sneaker game is over. All right, the sneaker game is over. Stop spending three hundred dollars on sneakers, yo. Y'all bugging you. I'm telling you. Okay, look at this big boy Honda right here. A big boy right here with the three pipes in the back. Okay. Okay, now I was, I was gonna download this game, some mobile Street Fighter type shit. Oh, it, Morgan Freeman, Morgan Freeman with dreadlocks. <laughs> he must be doing a movie. I was about to say he looked like one of them dudes. <laughs> I was just about to say he looked like that dude from um, the House of Dragons. Yeah. Okay, I respect it though. I respect it though. Yeah. Okay, we got little cats. All right, what's this going on with this? Anyway, I'm just, I'm just trying to give you an idea because this is what you're going to be doing. Again, now, when you say, I keep saying again. When you're sitting down at your table like this, you chilling on Instagram, somebody say, oh, you ready to go? All right, cool. You ready to go. Close your phone up, and now you'll be back on Instagram like this while you're walking around. You're not going to walk around with the phone unfolded. So here's how your Instagram is going to look like this. So now you're in the elevator, okay, going through. Now you happen to see something. You're like, hold on a second. Me, hold on a second. Let me see what's going on. What's going on with that? Okay. All right. We close this back up right where we left. Okay. Look, they got the Tiffany joints. The tip. Now, if you buy these Tiffany's for $5,000 for Tiffany Air Force Ones, when you could go right here and get the reppies, get the replicas for a buck fifty, give me the reps. Give me the reps. Okay. Bro, they opened up a dispensary around the corner from my house. They opened up a dispensary around the corner from my house. I went there yesterday. I got some edibles. Bro, I took a 100 milligram candy. A <laughs> 100 milligram edible candy. I'm just now getting um my senses back. Okay. Um, I forgot I was making a video just now. Anyway, so. 
Let's just let's see what's going now. Anyway, so here's how you which is the sound beats. Here's how your Instagram is going. Now these tattoos right here is kind of crazy. Y'all y'all ever seen these? These tattoos is sick. What's the name of this? Um, patched the patch tattoos. Now it probably ain't gonna look good on me because I'm darky. I'm a darky. But <laughs> if you got this kind of complexion, uh, I would have had my whole my whole sleeve would have been like this. That is so dope. I wonder how that looks over time. Look at here's another one. It kind of giving me the the heebie jeebies a little bit. Like, eh, like you just want to rip it off. I'll probably be scratching it and going crazy. But it looks sick though. It looks sick. Anyway, so here's how your Instagram is gonna look. Let's just see if we can find one more. This ain't too bad. Okay, nice little smile right there. Okay. Little, 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 little chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate. All right, you know it is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is, man. You know, but this, this is what you, this is what you're gonna be doing in your folds, all right? You're not gonna be just doing a whole bunch of work. All right, you're gonna be doing shit like this. You're gonna be sitting there scrolling on Instagram. I'm trying to give y'all that Instagram experience. Save you some money. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, that's how your Instagram is gonna look. And if you take it over to, uh, let's take it over to YouTube. Okay, when you exit out of this. You still got your picture and picture. Okay, so I could be watching YouTube, chilling. Okay, so got a video game in the background. Go do my thing. Exit out of that. Bang. And let's do one more. Go to flossycarter.net. You know, I you know, these videos ain't gonna pay for themselves. <laughs> these videos are not gonna pay for themselves. If you like what you see. I, you just go and buy some merch. Go to flossycarter.net and buy the family show T-shirt. I do. This is this is the one that I want y'all to wear. I when I see you in the street, just be like, yo. If I see you rocking this shirt, when I walk past you, I'm gonna be like, Rrr. and you just look at me by your floss. I mean, what up? Like, Rrr. that's all you gotta do. All right. Anyway, exit out of it. RDA regular daily activities. This phone is gonna handle it like a boss. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Overall. On a scale of one to 10, okay, I'm gonna give the Honor Magic VS a major, major go. Now, the only reason I gave it two majors is because I'm not sure of the price yet. If this phone drops for a thousand bucks, this is a triple major go. Anything under 1200 bucks, triple major go. Anything over 1400 bucks, I gotta snatch one of them majors away because then you could get the Galaxy, you can even get the Vivo. Now, the only thing, here's one thing I wanted to mention. You gotta be careful with these, all right? With the, with the Galaxy and the V, uh, with the, um, <laughs> with the Xiaomi and the Vivo. You gotta be careful with these because it depends on what kind of carrier you got. Now, if you got Obama Wireless, Bob's Fish and Chips, all right? Bob Fish and Chip Insurance and cell phone service, okay? If you got one of these bootlegging uh, phone companies, this phone may give you some issues. But if you're using a heavy hitter like T-Mobile or AT&T, all of these phones work. And I use all three of these phones that you see right here, I use easily with AT&T. However, if you got Verizon, it's a no-brainer, okay? The Galaxy Fold works on all of the carriers. All right, when they say unlocked, they mean unlocked. Now, I only tested this one on T-Mobile and AT&T, and they work fine. I don't think this is going to have um, a Verizon version, but you never know. So that's one thing that you gotta consider when you're buying your Fold, what carrier do you have? If you're in the USA, you might wanna stay away from the Supreme Chinese phones, you know what I'm saying? Like, as much as I love them, you might wanna stay away from these because certain areas, in New York City I didn't have an issue, but certain areas, you may have an issue with connectivity. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> anyway, let me rank these real quick. So after, use, after using these, now, here's my personal rankings, okay? Now, this is not, this is not, of course, if you're gonna go by on paper, this would be number one, number two, the Vivo, Galaxy number one, number two, the Vivo, number three, Xiaomi, number four, Honor, and number five, Oppo, if we're putting this on paper. On paper, this is how I would rank them. But, in the way of, let me, let me, let me say this correctly. Let me rank these and wipe them down at the same time in my personal rankings from the like factor. Which one do I like the best? Number one on my like factor list, I'm gonna go with the Vivo. This is the all around phone. It got, it got the things that I need, the big out of display, wireless charge, and you got the IR blaster. Number two on my list, okay, I'm gonna go with the Xiaomi. 
Okay, this one is super thin, super lightweight, and I love the camera on this one. Number three, I'm gonna go with the Honor. Okay, IR Blaster, big out of display. Number four, I'm gonna go with the Galaxy, pound for pound, everything that I'm looking for. And number five, the Oppo. Now, a lot of y'all, this is nothing against any of these phones. A lot of y'all will pick this as number one because like I said, it's pocketable. But for me, it's just a little bit too small. That's a little bit too small, but the build quality is excellent. The camera on this one is excellent. All right, this is the Hasselblad setup. Okay, got the Hasselblad with the Vivo. You got the Zeiss lenses, so you know this camera's on top. Leica lenses, beast mode camera. The camera on this, pretty epic. The Galaxy camera, pretty good, but I would take all three of these cameras over the Galaxy. I take, actually for cameras, I take all four of these over the Galaxy. Okay, but I said all of that to say this, no matter which fold you get, Okay, you, you, you're gonna like it. I, this, I, the people were saying that folds are just fads and you know they're gonna be played out soon. Folds ain't going nowhere. Okay, they're not going nowhere. And when they find a way to put all of these features into a fold that looks like this, it's gonna be game over. It's gonna be game over. Anyway, my boiler just kicked in in the background. That's why you hear that humming sound. That's my cue to wrap this video up. On a Magic VS, double major go. All right, we'll see when the price comes out because this might be a triple major go, but this is a heavy hitter. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I'll see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and be rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Do something. Spock won the beam up. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.